Hi, you're now with the Forerunner Chronicles, and right now we're out in LA, out at um, Warner Brothers Studios in Angus Jones' trailer, Angus Jones of Two and a Half Men, and uh, he's got a pretty awesome testimony to share with us, and I, I, as I said this before, this is really, I accept this brother as my, as my brother for real, because um, he's accepted the seventh day as God's holy Sabbath day, and just a whole lot more than what I've just told you, but um, thanks for doing this testimony with me. First off, hey, well, thanks, man, for having me. It's you know, it's awesome being here. Definitely. And um, all right, just tell you about it a little about. Just let them know. All right. Well, um, I'm Angus. I was born in Austin, Texas, um, and when I was about four, four or so, my family, my family and I moved out here to California because uh, my dad was going to start working for his uncle and uh, you know being in California my mom just decided hey let's go try and do the acting thing right. and uh, you know it was it was one of those things that was totally random it wasn't anything that I was like I wanted to be an actor I was four and a half I didn't know what anything and uh, I hadn't taken any acting classes or anything like that we just went to some auditions, some auditions for commercials, and I ended up getting the first few commercials that I auditioned for. And it just kind of continued to uh, go from there, and I was doing commercials, and I started doing movies, and when I was nine, I was offered the job here on Two and a Half Men, and uh, uh, all the time, like when I, when I first started going to school, uh, when we first moved to Ontario, I uh, actually Ontario, California. Right. I actually I lived uh, down the street from a church, and that's like the preschool that I went to is the church, the preschool at that church. And uh, then I, when I moved up to kindergarten, I went to uh, Upland Christian School, uh, non-denominational Christian school. Uh, I think it's non-denominational. <laughs> and that was always something that was uh, important to my parents that I was at a regular school while at the same time, you know, doing, pursuing the acting, I guess, you know. Their idea originally was just, you know, put some money away from, for college and things like that. And, um, and so, I, whatever, what I would do is the, the teachers at my school would send the work to my teachers on set. And uh, then I'd, whenever I'd go back to school, I'd, have, I'd be right on with the students, you know basically being a regular kid with, with a really irregular job <laughs> and um, if you want to call it a job hey. we can talk about that later um, <laughs> and so uh, about you know going to a Christian school it was always you know you know I every year you have to take a Bible class and um, you more or less you kind of you kind of reiterate a lot of the same stuff th over the years, and um, you know I knew I knew basic stuff, stories of Jesus. You know I knew really bi basics, and we would do Bible verses and all sorts of stuff like that. And when I was in kindergarten, I remember saying the prayer to accept Jesus into my heart during like the weekly chapel service at our school. And uh, but God and the Bible and Christianity was always just something that was at my school. We didn't go to church Sundays, very rarely if it was Easter we would go with family. Right. And uh, we didn't, you know, pray before dinner, we didn't read the Bible at home together, it was just Bible, I had a Bible class at school. Right. And um, before my junior year in high school, um, one of my cousins, Jordan, uh, introduced me into, uh, into weed, I started smoking weed, and, um, you know, when, uh, just like through all my junior year, you know, I, it was just like that was my my time became more spent on being with friends and as as not dealing with family issues as much as I could and uh, you know devoting my time to you know uh, I, I like video games friends and music and um, uh, then um, then the the summer of my senior year, I uh, started doing um, acid, 
and that was pretty one of the, the stereotypical like this drug could change the world like if this was legal like people would everyone would be different right. you know I was, I was that guy I was kind of being a little bit material I like uh, I got a, I got a nice car I have so many speeding tickets thank god though I never got an accident <laughs> I bought some stuff so that I could have like a cool recording setup in my room and um, you know, I like I like taking photos. They were doing all this, you know, kind of artsy stuff, and uh, just kind of doing things, just like because they, you know, I don't know. And uh, I just I was unaware of it, but I was just kind of on a s s downward trend, just uh, just like just kind of doing like I don't know, living living for myself, really not not concerning myself with family, uh, with anything outside of what was helping me out. I wasn't using what I had been given to help others really to an extent, you know, I, I did kind of like the stereo, stereo, I'll say stereotypical, and this one is stereotypical like celebrity throw some money at a cause and they give you some kind of recognition. Right, right. It's, it's bad. And, um, that's, I mean, you know, I, I, I would help out, I would, you know, I did some stuff for St. Jude's Children's Hospital and things like that, but they never, it never really, never really felt important to me, I, and I always just like, it was always one of those things that was almost, um, it was a little bit foreign to me. I was, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it other than that. December, December 27th of this, uh, of this last year, I was I was a friend of, friend of mine and I were talking about future plans for like business ideas we had and things we were gonna seem things we thought we were gonna do. Remember you saying talking about maybe doing some type of thing with art or something like that. Yeah, it was it was it was gonna be you know some kind of artist group. Uh, in some way we didn't really know we we you know we had a lot of ideas. Alright. Um, but we were just talking about like what was gonna be like the you know, what was kind of going to be the slogan or what would we write on if we were going to have clothes, like what would our theme kind of be, stuff like that, right. you know. And um, I had said that, you know, God, God's definitely going to be, a, God's definitely a part of this. And I was like, kind of, kind of hit me in a weird way. I was like, no, no, God is, God is the center of all this. God is the reason for all this. And right when I had said that, I just had this, this feeling, this like of, uh, warmth, acceptance, love, I, I can't even, it's, it's one of those things that the best way I can describe it is, is being, being hugged by your most favorite person ever, but their, their, their hug, like they're able to hug every single part of your being, and uh, it was just one of those things that I like, I told, I, I sat there and I told him, I was like, man, I just feel like I accepted God, I feel like I just accepted God in my life, and that was, that was like, kind of, I guess like one of the the steps toward my toward my change of of lifestyle of life, and you know uh, my cousin Jordan, the same cousin that I first started smoking weed with, he had been woken up by God um, in almost a similar fashion that I had been uh, a few months before. So I had been talking to him recently about when it when it came to God and the celebrity, the Angus Jones celebrity, like would it be possible to create a, uh, a celebrity status that made God appealing to people. Right. And we were just discussing that. And, uh, and uh, so that was kind of during that January, that was kind of where I was more in my mind what I was thinking about pretty much and considering what direction you're gonna go yeah. with everything at this point yeah then uh, September not September January 22nd it was a Saturday night um, uh, another friend of mine John Pena and I were were actually in this room talking and um, at the time I didn't know whether or not I was gonna do the show or if I was gonna not if I was gonna go to college or if I was gonna do neither and I had asked him what, what he thought about doing the show, if he would do it if he was in my position. He said simply, simply for, for the money, he would, he would do it because, you know, his family was struggling and, it, you know, and that's just like, that. But, but basically, he pretty much told you to compromise. Yeah, yeah he, he, said, he said basically, you know, he would do it, 
he would do it because because of the money, because of his situation that he was in with his family. Right. My friend John, you know, is the friend that uh, his family was struggling. His, his they they were in positions to maybe lose their house, lose their vehicles, things like it wasn't. It was he, he had his family was going through some hard time, and he said simply for the money, he would he would do that because he'd be able to help out his family in a in a in a very serious way. And um, that that hit me in an interesting way because you know my friend John is. He, he he's an extremely talented guitarist, but all he really he doesn't even have a an, a an amp to play his electric guitar through. So that just kind of was like, wow, look at me! I'm sitting here in this room. I have I, I have dusty equipment. I have very nice things just sitting around, like their food or whatever. You know, like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. And um, that just kind of made me like just like wow I'm I'm really a loser and I had, I then I had told John we I was taught we were talking about the concept of uh you know if I was to do the show again I could try and be a witness for God almost through uh through just kind of being being in the public's eye or like in a celebrity almost way you know right still be who I was in a sense but not still continue to be yeah. like Take yeah. on to an F, man. Exactly. But now a uh, servant of Jesus Christ. Yeah, exactly. And and so he was asking me these questions. He's like, well, if you're gonna do that, how? Well, he was just asking me questions about my life. They were just like, well, yeah, I'd have to change that. Well, yeah, I'd have to change that. Well, yeah, I'd have to change that. Well, yeah, yeah, to yeah. And it was just like one thing after another. He was asking me these questions that were just, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't trying to pick me apart, but right. he was breaking me down. And you know, I realized I realized that it couldn't. It it wasn't. It wasn't my friend John Pena. Talk like it wasn't. He wasn't the one thinking of the questions. It wasn't him. Like it. It had to have been God, the Holy Spirit, something talking through him to 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 let me know that the position that I was in was not where I needed to be for where God wanted me to be. And uh, I was like, all right, you know, I woke up the next day and I was like, all right, God, what can we do today? Like, show me, show me what I need to do, how to do it, who I can help, who I can tell, who I can tell uh, about you. And uh, I was, you know, I did some research on the internet and when it kind of came to do's and don'ts and things like that. And I went to school the next week and it was an excellent week. I, you know, I was, you know, I was just, I was everybody's friend. I was. You know, I was just trying to, uh, you know, do what I can, do what I could for any, you know, I was doing better in school, focusing on my schoolwork, especially Bible class and stuff like that, focusing on my study. And then basically the next, the next weekend, I was in the same exact, I was in the same exact position. I was uh, in the same exact sins that I was in the weekend before. And it was just like one of those things that I was like... <laughs> Like I, God spoke to me last weekend and I'm sitting here in the same exact position. Like I was the person, like God told me it personally, basically that, uh, that he wanted me to, to get it together. And I, I've already failed. I've already felt, I, you know, it was just one of those things that it really frustrated me and 